A politician dies and ends up standing in front of the pearly gates. Saint Peter looks at him for a second, flips through his book and finds his name. So, you're a politician? Well, yes. Is that a problem? Oh no, no problem. But we've recently adopted a new system for people in your line of work. And unfortunately, you have to spend a day in hell. After that, you can choose where you want to spend eternity. Saint Peter clicks his fingers and whoop, the guy disappears. He awakes, but keeps his eyes closed, expecting fire and screams. But nothing. Open your eyes. Come on, wakey wakey. We've only got 24 hours. Nervously, he opens his eyes, looks around and sees he's in a hotel room and there's a smiling man in a suit holding a martini. Who are you? Well, I'm Satan. Welcome to hell. Anyway, this is your room. The minibar is of course free. As is the room service. And if you need anything, just call reception. It's a beautiful day. Get your ears out of hell. Hours of partying and relaxing, the man falls into a deep and happy sleep and is woken up by St. Peter. So, that was hell. Didn't expect that, right? No, sir. So now choose. Is it hell, which you saw, or heaven, which has choral singing, talking to God, white robes, and so on? Well, I know this sounds strange. But I'd prefer hell. St. Peter clicks his fingers again. The man wakes up in total darkness. The stench of ammonia is filling the air and distant screams make the only noise. Satan appears next to him holding a red hot iron in one hand and a coil of razor wire in the other. What's this? Where's the hotel? Where's the minibar? The pool? The sunshine I had yesterday? Ah, you see... Yesterday, we were campaigning. But today, you have voted already. 